Former President Donald Trump speaking on the economy during his visit to Powderville. I'm your senior reporter, Danny Valle, and with the race for the White House in full swing, former President Trump once again campaigning in our neighborhoods, this time with a trip to Alro Steel in Eaton County. Former President Donald Trump bringing his campaign back to mid-Michigan on Thursday, this time giving a speech about manufacturing, inflation, and the economy to hundreds inside Alro Steel in Eaton County. I will be the American energy president. I'll be a president for a lot. I'm going to be the automobile manufacturing president, too. You watch. Trump criticized electric vehicles, claiming that they're taking jobs away from auto workers in Michigan. He also said if elected, he'd open the door to more oil drilling in the country to lower inflation. The first thing I will do to make middle class life dramatically more affordable is to end Kamala's war on American energy, terminate her Green News scam, and drill a baby drill. We're going to drill baby drill. Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer pushing back on Trump's claims this week. Donald Trump has shipped Michigan jobs overseas, including thousands of auto jobs. He tried to undermine our unions every way that he could. And now he's got a plan that would supercharge inflation and raise taxes on Michigan families. The former president also bringing up reproductive rights, supporting IVF treatments for families. I'm announcing today in a major statement that under the Trump administration, your government will pay for or your insurance company will be mandated to pay for all costs associated with IVF treatment, fertilization for women. IVF he also continued attacks on the Biden administration, saying the country needs a better option in the White House. We're going to make America great. We're going to make America the production capital, manufacturing capital of the world, and it's going to happen very fast. I hope you're going to go out and vote for me because, honestly, if you don't, our country is finished. Now, for Trump, this is the second visit to mid-Michigan from the Republican presidential candidate after visiting Howell last week. Democratic nominee Vice President Kamala Harris has yet to make it to our neighborhoods, but that could change as we get closer to November. Meanwhile, Harris is scheduled to be in Detroit on Monday. In Potterville, I'm Danny Valle, Fox 47 News.